so now i'll show you how to create our own custom component but before that i just want to add few more points in my previous explanation about these default component and the app.module.ts file i have explained you that uh, these four files uh, except the last one combine to form a one component that is by default created by angular cli so i have opened my app.module.ts file and at the start we know that we have imported and added the reference of the external libraries that we want to use in our application but this one is the reference to our component that has been generated by default if you want to create our own custom component that must be added right here along with this parent component all right and after that uh, we have added the app component as a declarator because at the first value of this declaration uh, means that this is the parent component and all other components will be the child components of this parent component and this one bootstrap our angular js application uh, actually we are working in angular 4 so that needs to be bootstrapped uh, before compiling so we need to provide it the parent component for our application so by default the parent component is set to app.component and this is where we are setting our app component as a parent component so now let's get started creating our own custom component and that will be generated within this app folder so if we go to our cli.angular.io and if i click on get started it will take me to a github uh, link and in this link uh, i have bunch of information that how we can create our component and if we come uh, below right here generating components directive pipes and services uh, we can see that we can execute this command in our terminal to create our own custom component okay so i will go back and i will use my terminal of webstorm if you are not using uh, webstorm you can use a cmd of your os so i will come right here and i will write ng g and rather than writing g i can uh, direct uh, write a full name generate but i will write a g character ng space g space and i want to generate a component so i will write component and after that i will name my component so i will write my dash component and I will press enter and it will take some time and it will generate my own custom component along with this default app dot component uh, dot ts that has been generated uh, by the same angular CLI commands so let's wait for it to generate our own custom component so you can see that it has generated our component and if I open up my app folder now you can see that it has created a folder with the name of my component and within this folder uh, we have all those four files uh, that form one component we have a CSS file for styling we have an HTML file uh, for viewing our data we have a spec file and that is used for unit testing and we have a TS file the TypeScript file where we uh, define the modules and all the models and the data properties for our component so let's open up our my component uh, my dash component dot component dot ts okay so in this file we can see that it has imported and got the reference of angular core because this library needs to be imported in all the components that we need to create in angular 4 and after that uh, it has a selector this is a declarator that start with the add sign and that has to be the same uh, character same word as the reference of this component and it has a selector property and it has a template url it has a style urls and after that uh, we have a class and inside the class we can define our data but i'll come back to it later so what this all about first of all let me open up my app.component.ts and if we see the selector app dash root this is our parent component so where this app dash root uh, coming from and if we open up the html we can see that 
uh, this title is being set after getting the value from this title so if we open up our index file we can see that the app dash root has been added in the body element of our index.html so it means uh, it means that it create an HTML element and that element can be used to fetch the data of this class and can be bind with our view so in the same way if I go back to my custom component this is our HTML element and we can use this element as a reference for binding the different variables and the functions with our view and if I open up my HTML file you can see that there is a text written inside it what if I want to show this particular text in my browser so in order to show it in my browser I need to open up my app.component.html and I need to add the binding in this parent component because if we have created our own custom component and that has been added as a child of parent component uh, make sure you remember that app.component is the parent and all other components that we will create will be the child components and all the data of child components will be available in our parent components so that's why we can fetch the data of child components and bind that data and show it within the template of our parent component but if I open up my app.module uh, we can see that it has added our own custom component we don't need to add it or manually because we have created our own custom component and it has generated the component with the same name uh, along with the name component at the end and after that it has given the path inside it same as it added the path uh, of our default component and our custom component path has been added right here and in the same way we have got the reference of our custom component and it has uh, add that component in the declarations property the same name and this is where we can get and uh, use our custom component and that has been added uh, automatically by angular CLI command so let's go back to our my component dot component dot TS and I will just copy this one and I will open up my app dot component dot HTML and inside it I will add a bracket and I will paste it and I will end the same value uh, because this has become an HTML element and I need to end that uh, tag as well now uh, along with the title I will also fetch and show the value of the HTML of this particular component because uh, this is an element and this is the reference towards our HTML and this value should be shown along with the title of our application so I hope that I have explained you as much as I could so now let's save all the files and now I need to run my application to see uh, if that works or not so let's write ng and I will write ng serve so you can see that it has compiled my application successfully and if I go to my browser and navigate to localhost column 4200 and it has shown me the title which is app starts and after that it has shown me my dash component works so our data has been fetched from our component uh, along with the title of our application so this is how we can bind and create component and there are more points and the concepts related to component but for now uh, that's pretty much it I will explain you further about components as we proceed along with this tutorials so now I just want to explain you the flow of uh, flow and the execution of the whole thing that what's going on at the back end how our application is being run uh, starting from the index file and then we have the app.module.ts file and our custom component so if I open up my index.html it has app dash root element and that has been generated by our default component so our application will start executing from this file and when it will read app dash root uh, element uh, it's gonna take us to main.ts and in the inside it it's gonna give it 
this application to our bootstrap for bootstrapping our application and this is where uh, it's gonna come after our index file and it's gonna call the bootstrap module function and this is gonna take us to the module name and in this case we have app module which is the name of our module and this is where we are going to come after the execution of this function and after that uh, this file is going to execute we have uh, external libraries that are going to be referenced uh, inside it we have the uh, default component and we have the uh, uh, custom components after that its declarations its import importing uh, all these declarations and after that we are uh, setting up our default component uh, that has to be added within the key value of the bootstrap and this is where the bootstrap um, um, knows that this is the main component that needs to be bootstrap for our application and though this is the parent component and after execution of this component which is the app component all the child components uh, will be added and executed along with this parent component so because this is the parent component and all other components that custom components will be the child components so this is how the process of the and the execution of program works i hope that you have got the idea of how the flow of component works and i will talk further about components uh, later but for now uh, make sure you practice it yourself and try to uh, subscribe my channel and comment below if you have any question or any confusion related to components